Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. You guys, Megan forgot that she helped Plastic Face with Finding Freedom. She forgot that she helped him with that. And then Harry forgot and destroyed evidence <laughs> in his communications with his ghostwriter. I am here to remind you all of how awful these two are. Hey everybody, welcome to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm Jen, honk honk everyone, thanks for being here. I'm here to talk about all the nonsense going on with these two and there is plenty to talk about. So let's jump in and take a look and see what's going on on Twitter. Starting with Queer Lips of Truth, who gave me a shout out recently. Thank you so much for that. Queer Lips of Truth, if you haven't followed him on Twitter, definitely check him out. Says, um, that book spare is the undoing of Prince Harry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm here for it. He did it to himself and his dumb wife helped his Instagram loving B wife helped him with the undoing as well. Uh, we told, uh, we told him then, but he didn't listen. Look at all the headlines going on. So much to talk about with this. So much to get into. Oh my goodness. I'm giddy and I'm here for it. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. Shared by the official office of CB and originally written by Prince and Princess of Wales accountant. It says, now he's had to pay out 60,000 pounds for destroying evidence. I love this photo so much of Prince William and Queen Camilla. <laughs> I'm cracking up. Do you know about this? I know you do, but just in case you don't. Crayon Eater is in big trouble. He's ordered by the judge to explain why messages were destroyed as he battles publisher of the Sun. But not only that, Oh, he was ordered to pay 60,000 pounds in legal costs. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, I'm sure things are, are tough and intense at home. I'm sure Megan was eyeballing a pair of shorts that, co <laughs> that cost that amount of money. So he's in big trouble. But no, seriously, he's in big trouble. But it does make this meme so much funnier, doesn't it? Then we have this, which is perfect because I always call him beady-eyed Beaker. It's per some, no, my apologies to Beaker. I love Beaker. Um, but Van72 posted this with the judge saying, well, and, ju and Harry replying, don't you know who I am? And then, you know, of course, there's Harry. <laughs> Poor Beaker. So we have Royally Sage sharing this. So Harry the Dragon Slayer of Disinformation is now accused of destroying evidence in a court case. So lying to the court and tampering with evidence. Harry, it is, is a disaster. Exactly. That is why I think this is so important to bring to everybody's attention. Remember, Harry and Meghan are very much trying to take away the First Amendment. Again, I'm not trying to go tinfoil hat. This is an actual thing. You can look into it. They don't like it when others have free speech. They just think they should be allowed to say whatever they want. Um, but, uh, and, and yeah, he called himself the dragon slayer of disinformation. Uh, but now he's been accused of uh, destroying evidence. I think that's perfect and perfectly sums up their continued hypocrisy. And then Princess Devastellar posted this. Dead, oh, sorry, Harry says, Daddy, Charles, let me in. I need you to bail me out. Exactly. I think it's more, oh, oh no. And as Jay calls him, uh, Jay pretends like Harry <laughs> calls King Charles King Paw. I think that's pretty great. King Paw, can you help me? All right, let's talk Salty Duchess, I, hashtag I stand with Catherine. Me too. It says, my theory is there's a very high possibility the deleted message said to be between Harry and his ghostwriter were going to expose Harry's wife as the person who helped write Spare. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to need them to find those messages and I'm going to need them to share them with all of us. I'm sure we'll be dumber after reading them and it will come as no surprise, but I tend to think very similarly that uh, it would be uh, deleting, again, this is just opinion and we're just speculating, but deleting evidence of... Um, Megan writing it, I mean, helping with it, right? I mean, come on. We all know she wrote that book. But I did want to point out this person. I want to give him a shout out. Human Economics 6894 over on St. Megan Markle Reddit. And I want to read this because it's interesting. And I think a lot of us were confused on some of the details. And this person just uh, takes a minute and really explains what's going on. So I'm going to read it. We're going to talk about it. It says, I'll explain because somebody had said I'm confused about this case. So this is all hypothetical. Of course, you get it. She's just using this example. Piers Morgan hacked your phone in 1996, but you didn't find out until today. 
2024. In this type of crime, the time limit does not run from when the event occurred, but from when you found out that it occurred. Because that is when the right of action before a court arises. So you have until 2029 to sue, five years. After those five years, peers can go to court to request that the case be barred. Why not before? Because Morgan committed the crime, again, hypothetically, committed the crime, and if he asked for the statute of limitations, he would have to say, I committed the crime of hacking. <laughs> I like the scoogie shoes, okay? <laughs> um, that must be the other person's username. That does not happen. That would be equivalent to co condoning fraud, and that doesn't happen. Then they continue on and say, let's go with Harry. In 2011, the News of the World case explodes. And it explodes because William, Harry's brother, sues the newspaper when he discovers he's being spied upon. After an investigation, it's discovered that William, Catherine, and Harry have been hacked. Harry then had since 2011 to sue. So... Uh, they're pointing out it would have been until 2016 because of when Harry discovered. What does Dum Dum allege that he wanted to sue, but that they prevented him to, from doing so? So in other words, his case there, in his case, there was coercion to prevent him from suing. And if that doesn't help, Harry has alleged, quote, continued offense. In other words, the practice of hacking and privacy did not end until, sorry, did not end in 2013, but rather continued over time. He wanted to extend it to 2019, which means that he could have sued until now, 2024. But since he sued in 2019, the prescription was interrupted. So does the son, sorry, what does the son say? Well, let Harry prove that he couldn't sue before 2016. Evidence, not his word. That is documents, writings, something tangible that shows that Harry could not sue before 2016. Harry can't seem to prove it. The other aspect that some, someone reminded me of is that Harry claimed he couldn't sue because there was an, a secret agreement between the newspaper and the British royal family not to sue in exchange for a settlement that William got. The son seems to have struck a blow by having requested documents from Palace, which they gave them in this regard. I'm seeing that the son wants blood. I'm su I was surprised by the term that Palace handed over documents and Harry is having trouble backing up his paranoia and his story about why he didn't sue. So again, I would like to give a massive shout out to Human Economics 6894 for your very detailed but very well explained explanation. <laughs> I'm recording this very late at night. I'm very tired, but you, you get what I'm saying. I thought this was an excellent explanation and huge shout out to human economics. I wanted to make sure to shout them out because they took the time to write all this and to explain it so clearly and so well thought out. Thank you for, for making it make a little more sense. I want you guys here to chime in in the comments and tell me everything. I do think it's interesting that the palace cooperated, but why wouldn't the palace cooperate? William has done absolutely nothing wrong. Same with Catherine. And, and I mean, if they were asked to hand it over, of course they would. Harry sucks. He's on his own. You know, I, I don't know what else to say. I don't think they did anything malicious. I think they just, it sounds like answered what the judge asked. I don't, you know, I don't know how any of that works, but I am very curious and I'm curious to know your thoughts on all this. I think it's fascinating and also screw Harry brings me to this. I want to give a shout out to you, but I never know how to say your name. Is it Sebra? I hope that's right. Lon? Um, saying, don't let them change the subject. H is a con artist and trying to pull one over on someone. Exactly this. And the reason I think it's important we say this is because there's other things. Of course, This is what Harry and Meghan do. They do terrible things like destroying evidence, allegedly, things like that. Uh, destroying families, all that stuff. But yet they put out other stories in the press to try to get us to look in a different direction. And in my opinion, I think this beautifully ties with this. Ugh, that's a collective eye roll from all of us, right? So you've seen this 
ESPYs are apparently giving, good Lord, giving that one an award. Did he buy it? I'm saying yes, probably so. I can't prove it, but sure. Uh, <laughs> that's what they do. They buy awards to get us to look in a different direction. So why would this be any different? But, um, it, it's believe it's alleged that he bought this award from ESPYs, um, and it's to get more attention back on himself, of course, and to, on Invictus and all that. I find the whole thing truly disgusting the more I learn about it. He's still fully taking credit for it. People still get confused and think he started it. I'd like to give another shout out to Salty Duchess, hashtag I stand with Catherine, for posting this to remind us all that no, he didn't start it. Um, we even learned in some of the books we've read he did not start this thing, but um, it was the initiative of the Royal Foundation and then he there I don't even want to go into it my opinion is is that they gave him that other people had come up with this project and gave it to Harry to give him something to do essentially right um something that he could take on so I believe it was created for him you know how you have to keep a toddler busy something like that all right but he has used it now and it's become this disgusting awful thing where he takes it he and his Instagram loving bee wife take attention away from the actual servicemen and women. And, and I'm, I'm reading more about people boycotting and stuff. I do want to dive more into that, but for now I'm disgusted by the whole thing, completely disgusted by them as always. And I do think this, this SBF, whatever this award, I'm very sporty. I'm just kidding. I know nothing about sports. Um, this award is being, we're seeing more of it printed to try to get us, hey, look over here. Don't pay attention to the evidence destroying thing or any of the other awful things they're doing. Hey, look, Harry got an award, you know? So uh, yeah, I think that's what's going on too. Let's change the subject and have a laugh, shall we? Well, we're not really changing the subject, but let's have a laugh, shall we? Lean Meme Machine, you know, I love their meme so much, posted this. An award for serving his wife's interests goes to, and then you have Harold of Harold and Fraud, Harry Markle of Monty Shit Show. Hey, you got a basket of rotten lemons. Enjoy it, buddy. Enjoy the hell of your own making. Lean me machine. I love your work always. Thank you for this. All right, I'm going to go into one more dark story, and then I've got a whole bunch of sunshine for you, so stick with me. Believe me, it's fun. All right, let's talk this. Thank you, Debbie, hashtag royal family, hashtag no Sussex propaganda here, shared this. All right, so she's really good at finding things like this. I don't know, messages sent between the, God, it sounds so childish, the squad members, but you know what I mean, the lemon rats, right? Um, <laughs> the sewer squad, they are getting fed up. She sent all these screenshots of them, um, posting things that they're basically sick of being ignored by Hank and Skank. I find that so funny that these people are out here. It's all over. The whole thing is so ridiculous. It's, it's comical. It seems to be, I read all the messages. They really are pathetic, the group and their leaders. Um, they're mad because Harry and Meghan are not acknowledging them. Um, they are not acknowledging the birthday wishes <laughs> Uh, that they sent to, I don't know, Harold Fraud and, um, oh, I guess it's not Harold. Oh, it must be maybe for the kid's birthday. I don't care. I really don't. Whoever's birthday, <laughs> whoever, um, they were not acknowledged. And so there is dissension in the group and uh, rumblings. And they're basically saying they're sick and tired of it, of doing the dirty work and getting nothing in return. So I find that very funny. And I love that they're just posting things like this for people to find their uh, disenchantment with Harold and Fraud. And I really wonder, you know, with Harry having to pay out that 60 grand, the funds have got to be running low, right? With all the things they pissed their money away on. Don't they have to be running out of money by now? So maybe they're just not paying the sewer squad anymore. I don't know. It, it's quite funny. And uh, I'm curious to see. It seems like the rats are ab abandoning ship and uh, I'm here for it. And I can't wait till they turn on each other. I've seen that a little bit. I want to see them turn on Harold and Fraud more and um, spill more about their awfulness. That's what I'm here for. I want 
I mean, I would say I want, I want to read one of their books, but <laughs> I've seen their writings in my comments. I think I'm good. <laughs> I can't wait to see their coloring books about how mad they are at Harry and Meghan. <laughs> All right, I made myself laugh with the coloring book thing, but let's switch to some sunshine, shall we? Uh, shout out to Princess of Ginger Todgerland. Ooh. Um, pointing out what I've heard as well, there are rumblings, no pressure. Catherine, we want you healthy and feeling better and resting and all the things, right? But there are rumblings we might get to see Catherine for Wimbledon. I hope so. If she's up for it, no pressure, but I hope so because oh, she just brings sunshine everywhere she goes. And I hope so. And I hope that would mean she was feeling up to it. No pressure though. We'll see her when she we see her. And uh, I'm, I'll be first in line to, to celebrate her when we do. All right. Continuing the sunshine, we have Prince William out and about for Earthshot. He's been doing Earthshot related things. And I just thought this was so cool. Look at him. He's so handsome. I get distracted. But the, <laughs> the tie, it is made of recycled plastic bottles. And I just love him because he follows through and it's just, he puts his money where his mouth is, right? He's talking about these things. He's out doing these things. And he's even wearing a tie made from recycled plastic bottles. I think that is fantastic. And I just love him. So Yay, Prince William, for, again, not being a hypocritical ass like, like your stupid brother. All right, then we have the British Prince, too, who shared this. And I'm so excited to show it to you. There is no sound. They just had music in the background. It's copyrighted. I can't play it. So I'll just play it for you, uh, the video, and we'll talk through it. Look at how sweet this is with Prince William. This sweet little angel baby gave Prince William a friendship bracelet. Look at that. And he just seamlessly put it on. Look how sweet that is. She made him a friendship bracelet. And look how cute and excited and how sweet he is talking to her. And he just puts it on. I love him. I love this little girl. This is so sweet. I love seeing moments like this. I hope it makes your heart as happy as it makes mine. And look, he just puts it on. And they're saying how cute that is. And he's such a girl dad. I love it so much. And finally, look at this shared by Faye Waleses. I don't know how to say the rest of your name, but look, they shared this 40 years later. Look at how much little handsome Prince Louis looks like his mommy. <laughs> 40 years. Look how cute. I love this picture so much. And I love that they did a side by side like this. Look at that. Oh my goodness, so handsome, beautiful mom. Oh, I love this picture so much. It has just, again, brought a ray of sunshine to my day, and I hope it does to yours as well. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Of course, as more stuff comes out, you know I'll talk about it. Let's see here. Uh, today is Saturday, so Sunday I am doing a live with Stephanie Sidley of the Sidley Twins over on Twin Talk. We should be live around 3 p.m. Eastern time. So join me over there and then I'll be doing a live here on my channel directly after. So then you can join me over here. And I'm very excited about it. Should be a lot of fun. Lots of stuff to talk about. Nancy's out of town. So I'm helping Stephanie over there. So come say hi to me there and then come back over here and continue to say hi. Honk at me, will ya? Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, oh, Winning Communication. I talked to him and I have a video, uh, an interview with him coming out tomorrow. So check for that. That'll be Sunday morning. I can't wait to share that with you all. He's such a nice guy. And spoiler alert, we hit it off so well. I'm hoping to do a react video with him very soon. I'm very excited about that. But guys, thank you so much for being here, for watching, for commenting, for thumbs upping the videos, all the things, you know, it helps so much. Thank you to everybody who's picked up the new merch. You started sending me pictures of it and it makes my heart so happy. It really is the best merch we've done. I can't believe how great it turned out. Again, this shipping can definitely be slow. So please be patient. It's third party company. I totally get it. It frustrates me too, but they are such good quality. I'm very happy and I hope you are too. Guys, that's it for me. If you want to further support, check out Patreon. We got lots of stuff going on over there. I just put up a tribute to Princess Anne over there. Uh, we do lots of bonus stuff, lots of deep dives. It's a great group. We have a lot of fun. Check that out. Thank you guys for everything. I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this, and I hope you have the best day. I'll talk to you again soon. Honk, honk, everyone. Mm -hmm.